Hi. Tell, tell me your name again. My name is Howard F. Plaskett. Howard, you remember the Holly Bush Summit, of course. Oh, yeah. What do you remember about it? Well, I was a recent Glassboro High School graduate, class of 67. Mm -hmm. And at that spring, I was working here at the college in the food service department. And I was asked, along with a group of other people, to be serving the meals to all the security people and everyone those two days. And so we worked over in the kitchen here at the main dining hall and served breakfast to 350 state troopers and about 100 other plus security personnel. And then I came out here and was able to stand on the lawn across the street and see some of the summit when they you know, came out of the building. But uh, it was pretty exciting. It was pretty crowded too. The second day was, was much more crowded because I think the word got out and people showed up. Uh, that's why I'm surprised that the crowds here today aren't any larger than they are. I would think people would want to come back and, and experience the summit. It's a pretty long line. Right? It's getting longer all the time. Now tell me about those meals. How were the, the meals prepared and served to the Johnsons and the Cassidans? Were they brought in? Well, they were brought in from outside. Okay. Uh, we only served the security personnel and the, and the police officers. And, it was the same kind of thing that we would have done every, any other day for the students of the school. You know, it was prepared in bulk, and it was it was the same for everybody. It was scrambled eggs, home fries, some sausage, uh, toast, coffee, and some juice and coffee, bigger coffee. Uh, and they all, you know, were very appreciative of, of the fact that we had the meals there for them. Uh, but and it moved fairly quickly. It was like a normal college day. The lines just came through and. Everybody got what they wanted, and when they were happy, they went off to work and did their job. Now, this was the regular university staff, or did they have to bring in additional people? No, it was the regular university staff. They had two dining halls here on the campus at the time, and they took uh, people from both dining halls and brought us into the one dining hall for the day. Nats are getting a little vicious out here. Where were the dining halls? They were on this side of the campus. The one dining hall was right down in the middle of the campus there, near the old, where the old student center was, and then the other one was across the street where the new student center was. Uh, I, of course, wasn't a student here at Glassboro State, and so I don't know all the changes that have happened here at the university over the 40 years, except that they, they stole our name. <laughs> they became Rowan University, and, and I, I think it's a great thing for the college. It's just a, a sad thing for the community. So how many meals uh, did you prepare? Breakfast on the first day? We did breakfast both days, both days. and uh, I believe we did lunch the one day for the, the state troopers, but that was about it. Joe Sunshine made about 2,000 movies. Yeah, they did a lot of the lunches and stuff because they uh, they became famous for that. Uh, when President Reagan came here 13 years later, or 13 years, almost 20 years later, it was 1986, I believe, he uh, had Joe's Sub Shop and they had hoagies for, for him for his trip back to the White House. Uh, and as a result, they wound up having a, a sub name for the president, which was called the Presidential Sub. But, uh, yeah, we took care of the breakfast, and, and Joe's Sub Shop pretty much provides the lunches for the day. Very interesting. What else can you share with us about that day? Do you anything about the environment? The well, it was a lot warmer that day than it is today. Uh, it was a lot more muggy and more humid. And, uh, of course, the, the Hollywood Mansion doesn't have any air conditioning, and so I'm sure they were quite warm inside, too. And that's probably why they came out as often as they did. They came out, I think, three or four times. And uh, you know, just to let the people know that everything was going on and they weren't killing each other in there. That's wonderful. Well, Howard, thank you so much thank for you. coming and sharing.